Will they have a new head coach by that time? Should they have a new head coach by that time? It's a tight turnaround, but it would behoove them to have a head coach at that time because the more camps, the more opportunities you get with the group of players that you then have to take to the Olympics with the coach is going to be crucial because there's only so many national team camps and opportunities during FIFA windows to have those players together. So if they can get a taste with a new coach, that would be ideal, but that's a really quick turnaround. Well, I felt like the announcement of these meant that there may be because you want those new players to get some some time. I don't know. I don't know anything that anyone doesn't know either. But just the fact that right after the September friendlies, there are October friendlies. I'm thinking, hey, that's a chance to get the new players in, potentially a new coach in. And Jordan, as you said, potentially a new formation, the U.S. Women's National Team. Should yeah, be I think just knowing the U.S. team over the last handful of years is kind of their rhythm, especially going into a big mm -hmm. year where they're going to have to have, they have qualifying coming up very soon. So mm -hmm. I think just getting camps in, I do not think they will have a head coach by then. But I do think they should be able to be have some fluidity and some adaptability in the way that they play. I think, and I've said this before, they should play in a 3-4-3, three, three, or maybe that looks like a 3-4-2-1 at time with dual tens centrally. But when you have Emily Fox and Crystal Dunn, why would you not implement them as wingbacks? Because there are really good center backs if you have Cook, Gurma, and Staub as center backs. They all have the ability to play as midfielders at times with their ability to dribble essentially they're really good defenders Gurma could anchor that back line I like that type of look or I don't think I don't know a, a three five two it feels like I don't know if we have the two central players to play up front wingers as are really is a strong suit in our our formation right now so I don't know I just feel like a three back with wing backs would really really work well for this team I, I like the three back with the wing backs it should be in the rotation. I don't. I think it depends who the opposition is for the United yeah. States and what formation they need to play. That they can be adaptable. That they can switch from a four back to a three back to five in the midfield to three up top. Whatever it may be, they need to be able to have the versatility in their arsenal, which I think the players individually do. But are they practicing that in these? camps that they're bringing them in for are they mm -hmm. practicing it against a Colombian side one formation in the first half one in the second half that's more so what I want to see their their ability to react on the fly to what they're seeing and make those in-game adjustments I love that the adaptability aspect is something that came up during the World Cup but I think my biggest question is we named all these players that we potentially want to see on this roster but if there's no coach who makes that decision Kate Markrath is on the way out as well who's deciding who comes into that October camp I think it would be Twyla, yeah, right? Yeah. It would be Twyla Kilgore, who's the interim head coach. She was the first assistant under Vlach Wendonovsky. She steps into that role. Um, maybe Matt Crocker, but I doubt it. Like, it would be Twyla Kilgore. Yeah, I agree. I think it's a group decision. I don't yeah. think it's so solely on one person, but this will be – there is a list of players that I think are – are on the verge of making their way into this team. Um, but you have to remember the Olympics roster is smaller than mm -hmm. the yeah. World Cup. So um, you don't, it's, you want to expand your pool, but you also don't want to expand it yeah. too much um, because that could cause a lot of mix ups. But there are players that just won't be playing in the Olympics. So yeah, um, yeah it'll, it'll be interesting to see who they choose and what they, how, how they roll the team out. But these are the things we want to see. We want to see this team back out on the field playing. Good and competition. Taking some risks. Taking some well. risks. You know, Jordan, you mentioned it not becoming too big of a, of a pool, I guess, to make complications. I actually think that that would not hurt the U.S. Like, to have more competition in there, I think that we've had, like, people locked in. Darian, you're, you're nodding your head. Locked in for so long that it doesn't really have the kind of competition between positions that we've needed. Uh, well, that's also why I think the, the younger players coming in and giving this new type of creative freedom that will kind of be a new style of play for the U.S. instead of what we've always done, which has kind of been held together by these staple players that have been in the team yeah. for so many yeah. years. And I'm not opposed to that. I just think that is more difficult in an Olympic year when you yeah, have nine so months to mm -hmm. get a team yeah. together. Like, I want a lot of changes, but I don't think that that, I don't necessarily know if this is the time to do that.